Hello, I'm Claire Ridgway, founder of the Tudor Society and Amberlynn Files websites, also author of this book. I do keep mentioning this book, but I'll wave it in front of you in case you're interested in reading more on this day in history events. There's a lot in there. Okay, on this day in Tudor history, the 9th of January 1539, Henry Courtney, Marquess of Exeter and first cousin of King Henry VIII and Henry Pole, first Baron Montague and son of Margaret Pole, Countess of Salisbury were both executed by beheading on Tower Hill. So why? We've got a first cousin of King Henry VIII. We've got a son of Margaret Pole who'd been very, very close uh, to the royal family what, why were they beheaded? Well, the two men had been arrested in November 1538 and found guilty of high treason in a trial in December 1538 for allegedly, I'm saying allegedly, they were, you know, they were seen as being guilty of this, but allegedly denying the king's supremacy, desiring the king's death, and favouring and promoting Cardinal Reginald Pole, Montague's brother, Margaret Pole's son, in his traitorous proceedings. Um, he was seen as, Cardinal Pole was seen as a traitor. He'd been a sort of enemy of the king because uh, he didn't support the king's um, annulment of his marriage to Catherine of Aragon. He didn't support, you know, Henry VIII uh, declaring himself to be the, you know, the head of the church um, in England. And he was seen as wanting to restore papal authority uh, in England. So, Montague, who was Pole's brother, um, you know, was seen as you know wanting to help him, and also Henry Courtney, Marquess of Exeter. Others were also caught up in the same plot, and this plot has become known as the Exeter Conspiracy because of Henry Courtney being Marquess of Exeter. So others caught up in the plot were Montague's brother-in-law, Sir Edward Neville, who was beheaded on the 8th of December 1538, and Geoffrey Pole, Montague's brother, who actually managed to escape with his life. He was pardoned on the 2nd of January 1539. Um, he was pardoned after attempting suicide in prison for the third time. And he actually, he was the sort of one that um, kind of was giving information. He was being interrogated and was giving the sort of crown um, information. But obviously there was a lot of pressure on him, hence the suicide attempts. Others who were caught up, um, Montague's chaplain, Dr George Croft, who was also Chancellor of Chichester Cathedral. He was hanged, drawn and quartered at Tyburn on the 9th of December 1538, along with Hugh Holland, a servant of Geoffrey Pole, and John Collins, who served the Pole family as a chaplain. So they had awful deaths. They were given the true traitors' deaths of being hanged, drawn and quartered, which um, I won't go into too many details, but the drawing part was you were drawn on sort of hurdles, which were sort of like wooden sort of panels or wooden fences. Um, you, you were sort of roped onto those um, and then dragged um, by a horse uh, dragging that hurdle to the place of execution. You were then hanged until you were nearly dead, so until you were sort of unconscious, and then um, woken up really by having your, um, your insides taken out really um, and your private parts removed. Um, so you were disemboweled and yeah, everything that that has with it, uh, yeah, your heart taken out. Yes, all while you were sort of um, alive. And then your body was quartered so that the parts could be displayed around the city to put off any potential traitors. You know, this is the punishment for, for traitors. Um, so those men um, were, were given that as their punishment because they were, um, they were not of a certain status they were not of a high status uh henry courtney henry pole they were um you know of a high status and so 
although they were traitors, their sentences would have been commuted to beheading um, a much faster, more merciful death. Now, Margaret Pole, Countess of Salisbury, who, of course, was Henry Pole's mother and was also the mother of Cardinal Pole, she was also caught up in this Exeter conspiracy. She was also arrested in 1538, and uh, this elderly woman was imprisoned in the Tower of London. She was attainted, that means she was uh, found guilty of high treason by attainder rather than undergoing a trial. She was attainted in May 1539 for supporting um, her sons, Montague and Cardinal Pole, and then she was executed on the 27th of May 1541. So a horrible end to the Pole family who um, were close uh, to the king, who were related to the king. Margaret Pole was actually um, the daughter of George, Duke of Clarence, who was the brother of King Edward IV. So this family also had, you know, a claim to the throne. They had royal blood. So a really awful end for that family. Um, Yes, I don't think I would have wanted to have been close to the king in the 16th century. You never knew whether it was going to uh, give you good things or lead to a very nasty end. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this On This Day in Tudor History event today. I'll be back again tomorrow with another one and you can catch up on the previous ones as well. And you can make sure that uh, you get alerted to each video as it comes out by subscribing to the channel below. Take care. Bye bye.